So before I tell you about Benjamin, let me tell you that I have his permission to tell this story. My nephew, Benjamin, is probably one of the wildest young men I've ever met. Benjamin's girlfriend had a little baby girl. I have never seen an eight pound child kick somebody's butt as much as it kicked Benjamin's. You see, as soon as he held that little girl in his arms, his entire life changed. He went from doing every type of illicit drug you could think of to instantly going cold turkey and dropping every addiction that he had. His story inspires a lot of people and he tells his story on his Instagram. Benjamin is also a really good motorcycle rider. I'm going to show you a few little video clips that he has sent to me to allow to share with you guys. He has completely changed his life. He is an incredible young man with a great story to tell. And that is why we are building this truck. So, in the next few minutes, you're going to see the very start of the build. Benjamin Burnett's 1965 Chevy C10. He's going to haul his motorcycle down here. Check out a little bit of the footage that he sent me. My nephew, Benjamin Burnett, insane motorcycle rider. Maybe the fifth best dad in the world. All right, we're coming to check out his truck. This is a 1965 Chevy. And as you can see, it has seen a few better days. I don't know if there is even one square inch on this thing that isn't dented, dinged, hit, kicked, bit, or scratched. It has its fair share of rust. It also is a long bed that he would like to make into a short bed. So we're gonna be shortening the frame and shortening the bed and trying to keep the old paint on it. If you look at the interior, it looks about like the rest of the truck. It is pretty, pretty rough. We're also gonna do a 5.3 liter LS swap with a five-speed manual transmission. He wants to go manual on it. As you can see, even the suspension is falling out of this. You can see there that there is not even a bearing in that. We're also gonna lower the truck five inches in the back and three inches up front. It's got a nice little bullet hole, we'll keep that. We're gonna make this a pretty cool little street truck. We have the hood pulled off and the front clip ready to come off. We're going to be doing that here in the next few minutes.
to the river Well, the frame turned out pretty good. So next week we're going to shorten the bed on this truck. We're using a new method that I've never used before, and I think it's going to turn out pretty well. It'll save the patina a lot better. Thanks for watching.